Hello. My name is Elias Cabell. I am an actor, <laughs> a burgeoning filmmaker, writer, director, producer. Blah, 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 blah. Fun fact about me: I play a lot of sports, but I eat a lot of butter. <laughs> oh, by the hand of Hatshepsut, I think that last box might have been one too many. <laughs> I've been an actor been for about 18 years. <laughs> Look at his nose! Those fat little cheeks! Yeah, well... <laughs> Blood. <sighs> oh, man. Is this about the... the boogeyman? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Girls football. <laughs> won anything yet. It's not all about the winning, you know. Yeah, that's what losers usually say. Wake up this morning and she's cutting my hair. What? Yeah, and I'm like, what are you doing? She starts laughing. <laughs> she says, it's all right, my dad's a hairdresser. Yeah. <laughs> when I grew up on the Persian foothills, the white tiger was our prey. Do tigers come in white? In all colors, my lady. <laughs> White, yellow, brown. Why, I have even heard of tiger stripes. <laughs> Thank you. You know, um, Ronnie's asked me to play at a club tonight. <clears throat> yes. Fucking hell, man, that's sick. Thanks, man. Nice. Where she's looking, um, quickly, uh, come and give me a kiss. <laughs> Do it like you mean it. Be a long one. Yeah. We are not barbarians, Smith. We are going to feed you. I have just informed my friend. We will take care of you, Smith. Hashaf Kazeli at Rivagma Aje Kalesi. Rakaro ask if you want him dead, Kalesi. No! If she's chari a chari a hashminem ejerve, nahar is on. Rakaro say you should take ear to teach respect. No! Oh! You know, the pill's good. Makes your teeth bigger. Huh? plane. Hey, sir. 
w were you on the plane? Yeah, you're damn right, I was. Okay, well, I'm just trying to help. <laughs> I actually uh, did a paper on you in high school. I, I know all about your life back on Earth. Oh, yeah. Right. If, if you follow me, you've got a really good situation. that everyone's okay. That was harrowing. Can you imagine being that young and also sacrificing oh, yeah, yeah. yourself? <laughs> not this, not this. Jeez, this one's poison. This is it. Okay, take it easy. Everything's gonna be just fine. Is that what you think? Because it's not. Everything is terrible, and the worst thing about it is I can't remember why. I can't remember. <laughs> But also being being so afraid, but still managing to put yourself in harm's way because you know that's for the greater good. That's why. I think, and it's successful because, first of all, it's a good story, but also uh, it's something a bit from the news. You know, everywhere now we're talking about terrorism or spies or and and the false luck is different from other spy shows. Uh, because the main characters are regular people. In this thriller drama, what seems to be a case of mistaken identity becomes a guessing game, as unearthed secrets make audience question who is guilty and who is innocent. What I like about this series, and I think that the audience or the viewer really love about it, is that we, we, we would like or we're afraid at the same time that the people we know are secret agents. Like, we want surprises in our life. We want, I want my father to be a secret agent. I don't care which side, but I want this, like, oh, I want to, like, find a, a gun in a drawer. And at the same time, we're afraid of that, that they are lying to us. Like, people we know, like, do they really go to their work? Did they really like, uh, you know, I'm waking up and my wife is, is my wife or she's a different person? And, and we, we want this in our life. At the same time, we're afraid of it. Hey, just want to say, have a great day.